So please tell us your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Sam and I'm from here, Pasco, Washington. And what is your testimony that you want to share with us today? Um, my testimony is on last week's sermon of when Pastor Vlad was talking about tipping and tithing. Um, pretty much I was just a tipper. At that point, I was never a tither. What do you mean by tipping? Um, after I'd get my check, I would pay all my bills, do whatever I wanted with my money, and then I'd come to church and give them whatever was left over. And, yeah. And, okay. <laughs> You got the sermon. <laughs> so um, what was your kind of like uh, current situation of last week, your financial, um, you know, wh- as you were going through? Um, I, I had given up uh, smoking marijuana about like two months ago, and uh, I figured, you know, from going to spending 300 to 400 bucks a month, I would have all that extra money, and um, yeah, I, I didn't have an extra, any extra money. I was uh, even more broke than I, I was when I was smoking, and... Um, I don't know, it just, uh, I was taking that money from sin and I was not giving it to God. So it was just, uh, I was not getting any of that fruit back. So I figured something had to change. Okay. And so this Wednesday, last Wednesday, as Pastor Louds was talking about tithing, and um, what happened on that service? Uh, that night we prayed, um, we prayed on, on our finances and uh, I had made the decision to give, uh, even though that night I was, I was negative in my account, um, I made the decision to, I was going to, I was going to do anything I could to give my money, to give that 10% to God. And, um, so I did, I went home and I prayed that night again. And, uh, the next day I got another bill and the, this was the, the Thursday I get paid on Friday. So I still didn't have no money. I got another bill and, um, I was pretty upset that whole day I was, I was at work and, uh, I just kept praying. I was like, this is, I can't, I can't, can't, I can't afford another bill. And, um, Maybe an hour or two or so later, my boss calls me and says, uh, we need to have a talk. So I was like, okay, now I'm in trouble. This is only going, getting worse. <laughs> so um, we met, uh, we started talking, and it was my annual review. I wasn't even expecting a raise for my job. I was, uh, we, at 1324, that's as much as I could max out. Our company could not go any higher than that. So um, we started talking. I was only expecting a 20 cent raise at most. Um, we kept talking, and then uh, when he gave me my raise, it was a 56 cent raise, which took me to 1350 dollars at that time. And I had asked him, I was like, "Well, what happened? I thought it was at 1324 is where we max out." He couldn't even give me a straight answer. He just said, "I, I don't know. Something with the company is where they raised the, the they raised that, and you could make even more on top of that." So I mean, and at that time, um, I was like, "This is this is God. He heard me, and he um, he he's giving back to me." Even though with, when I made that uh, decision to give him money, even though I, at that time I still hadn't given anything, just knowing that uh, I was going to give him when I got my check and I was going to tithe, he blessed me with this great blessing. So on Wednesday you came with no money to give on the offering basket. It's okay though. But as, as soon as you made a decision, God already provided your breakthrough. Is that correct? Yes. And so we know that it's not Friday anymore. You got prayed on Friday. It's Sunday now. So have you given your tithes? <laughs> yeah, the very first thing I got my paycheck, and uh, it was a lot bigger even than I was expecting. So, I mean, he is working amazing things. And, I mean, I gave my tithe immediately, and usually I would be like, man, I could definitely spend this on other things. But that didn't even cross my mind. It was just I'm giving it to him because I know he's going to give me so much more than what I'm giving him. So what is your advice to the tippers um, instead of the titers this morning? Everyone who was in the same, same situation as me, just tipping, you know, coming with the last of your money, I, I encourage you to definitely tithe. Tithing, it's, I mean, it's brought me this, and I can't, I can't wait to see what else it's going to bring in my life. Amen.